let us go ahead and introduce market demand see when we go ahead and add all the individual demands together at a given price so for example when price is 10 rupees what is the demand by individual a what is the demand by individual b what is the demand by individual c similarly if i add all the demands together then i get the market demand similarly when price is 9 what is demand by a b c i add them together and i get the market demand so how many ever individuals exist in the market if you add the quantity demanded by each individual together then you get the market demand so the quantity demanded in the market is sum of the quantities demanded by all buyers at each price so at a given price let me take the price as 0 rupee so you know at 0 dollar helen demands 16 ken demands 8 so the market demand is 24 then let's take it to be 1 dollar at 1 dollar helen demands 14 Ken demands seven, so the total becomes twenty-one. Let's take two dollars. Helen demands twelve. Ken demands six, so total is eighteen. Three dollars. Helen demands ten. Ken demands five, so total is fifteen. So when for each price we add the quantity demanded of different individuals. then we get the market demand for each price this is known as the market demand it is basically nothing but summing the quantity demanded by each buyer together in our case of course we went ahead and we are assuming that there are only two buyers helen and ken so if you notice because this is my market demand what am i doing i am saying that okay at price 0 helen was demanding 16 units this was the unit demanded by helen and then ken demanded another 8 units so i add 8 to this so 16 and 8 more which makes me to 24 so this is the market demand similarly at dollar 1 helen was demanding 14 units so helen was demanding 14 units and to these 14 i went ahead and i added seven more so i went to seven more and i got 21 units so this is the demand of the market so you know if i go ahead and i draw helen's demand curve it would be something like this at 2 dollar helen was demanding 12 units so somewhere over here at 3 dollar helen was demanding 10 units so somewhere over here at 4 dollar helen was demanding 8 units so somewhere over here and at 5 dollar helen was demanding 6 units so somewhere over here right so if you notice the you know the demand curve of helen is much steeper than the market demand curve why because market demand curve will always be flatter this will be flatter why because it is basically adding some more amount for the same price because to helen i have also gone ahead and added ken's demand so you know at the same price i have added some more amount at the same price i have added some more amount amount equal into ken's demand so you know this becomes flatter and this becomes steeper right so market demand is basically adding the two demands together to get the third demand so you can say that okay if you know this is the demand curve of individual a and this is the demand curve of individual b we are going to pick up any price see how much is a demanding see how much is b demanding we are going to add a plus b at that price 
and after adding a plus b together we are going to get how much is market demanding where this is going to be qa plus qb again at any other price we will find how much is a demanding at this price how much is b demanding we add them together to get how much is the market demanded so market is basically adding the demand of two individuals 